I like the smaller key. Look how compact it is. And the smaller and narrow head looks really cool. And once you flip it, you have a bunch of options here. Dual motors, just front or just rear or both at the same time. And you have Eco D and Sport. And if you hold, you have uh, this mode. Why did I buy this scooter? After testing these two monsters, which are my favorite scooters and multiple compact options that were light but slow as hell, obviously we all want to go fast and have insane torque, and we all favorite big, fast, massive electric scooters. But we all want a light system which is almost impossible to get. We like good looking system, futuristic design, but compact footprint that we can manage, move around and be able to get inside public spaces and buildings without restrictions which is hard to combine and have both. But I think I found a model that is getting very close to that. This scooter allows you to get from point A to point B fast and enjoy the ride. Conveniently grab your coffee, get inside and outside the building and public spaces easily. Not being questioned, what on earth is this? And not being restricted. Not to worry about where to store it or park it safely. And this is why this scooter makes better sense. This is the Solar FF Lite electro scooter model. The specs advertised are too good to be true, but I would like to test them and see if they're met. I like the size and shape design of this model. This scooter is not that big, has cool design, and it weighs only 70 pounds, but packs power and a dual setup that will give you the torque and the range that we all need and looking for. Besides that, has very cool features and additional option coming in the near future that allow you to charge anywhere and get that free range. Also comes with a free steer dampener that sets this model stable at maximum speed and a pleasure to ride. Guys, it is freezing outside and I'm testing scooters. Let's get the speedometer rocking and uh, we're gonna start testing the range. Record, start. Damn it! Yeah, this freaking thing is fast. Holy moly. I was not expecting this. Wow. I wish that car was not in front of me so I can maybe squeeze few more miles. But it picks up really fast. Look at this. Come on, man. This thing is crazy, oh my gosh. Look at it. It's a race like a bullet, like be careful. Yeah, this is really nice. This is dangerously fast. For this size, wow. Be careful. All right, guys. I had to stop. I have first uh, five miles in and I want to share with you guys first impression. This scooter, it is stupidly fast for its size, for its specs, for, you know, for its weight. I actually think it's kind of dangerous because I hit 41, 42 miles an hour really fast and I wish that car was not in front of me and I could have gotten probably maybe another one, two miles, maybe three miles faster. But yeah, the scooter is very light and uh, this nut brakes in combination with this frame and this lightweight just are amazing. Good braking power and uh, it just feels nimble and fast. Like uh, right here, I had like another very steep hill and I'll show you 360 footage and uh, it was 35 miles an hour and wants to go to like 37, 38. So I kind of like release the, the throttle uh, because you know, it's like too many people around and uh, my hands are freezing and it's so fast in acceleration. So imagine now it's like under 30 degrees, maybe 25. It's freezing cold. Like this thing is like ejecting and just like shooting forward like a bullet. So imagine in the summertime, better performance uh, and better 
you know uh, acceleration probably even higher top speed but the way it is i think this is more than enough so you have to use your common sense and you know use second and first gear if you're not a fast rider but i feel like you know uh slick tires will do so great um so far love it guys uh it's a you know like if you're a speed maniac you need one of this uh, it's really really cool guys it's really really fast and uh after 40 miles stable and comfortable anything over 40 miles an hour you feel like you know have to be careful so yeah let's continue the test ride the torque is punching gradual because the frame is light it feels too powerful we have a sine wave controller it is smooth intuitive and easy to use we have dual motors 1600 watts each 60 volts 23 amp hour battery capacity advertised 45 miles an hour and i get really close despite my weight with winter heavy clothing and a backpack with gear so total weight over 240 pounds cool console and compact ignition key with safety button features usb charging which is very useful maximum low capacity 330 pounds you can choose off-road or road tires bright lights and turn signal indicators very useful in city traffic and also here in the front the lights are pretty powerful and you can see it has a long throw and white spill and uh, we have the side light also bright and here we have active rear brake light suspension is good does well in the city and you can adjust it for off-road you can make it softer or stiffer based on your preference how you ride and you can adjust the travel a range I was able to cover 26.2 miles and that's not bad for the conditions that I was testing in extremely cold 25 degrees in Fahrenheit and my weight was about 240 plus pounds spring and closer to summertime you'll get 30 to 40 percent more range we have a very compact body and lightweight scooter we have a hydraulic dampener that improves the stability and improves the handling but even without it the scooter is very stable at 40 plus miles an hour the side lights are orange bright which are very cool in the evening and increase safety as pros there's a lot to like here and execute it very well but as cons the folding mechanism is sturdy and never came loose which is great but once you fold the scooter there's no hookup or anything to connect the stand to the frame which makes it carrying the scooter down the stairs difficult i'm not a big fan of the slides but can be easily changed and upgraded but they do a pretty good job in the nighttime powerful and light up more than enough in front of you to ride fast here's a size comparison between d5 and the ff light they have similar top speed very similar torque and power output but look at the size difference and i want to mention here that i removed the lights the front lights and i removed the steer dampener and it looks so much cleaner and i actually doesn't need a steer dampener the structure the frame it's so well assembled and built that actually it's super stable at 40 plus miles an hour and you can see here it's much much narrower and wheelbase it's much much shorter much smaller in size compared to d5 and d5 it's also very light for its size and for its power delivery but the ff light it's even smaller compared to d5 the scooter is 70 pounds but feels like under 60 pounds it's very nimble very light very fast awesome scooter lives up to what they advertise as but the most important for me is a smaller size, lightweight, and I'm impressed with the power delivery. Make this model great for those that commute with a bus or train and have to load it inside. Overall, pretty cool features and it's priced 1950 US dollars, which is in line with what you get and quality levels. Guys, let me know in the comments below how fast do you ride daily and what model scooters do you have now. And if you don't own one and if you're looking to purchase, how do you find this model? Thanks for watching, don't forget to smash the like button if you find this video informative and I'll see you next time.